Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you Black Myth Wukong on my Lenovo Legion Go. A viewer asked me to show you know my best settings for the Legion Go and actually I'm not using the FSR3 frame generation mods or DLSS enabler. I'm not using any of that. I'm actually using AFMF2. So if you don't know what that is, it's AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 and it's a frame generation technology by AMD. Uh, but the thing is, it's not supported on the Legion Go normally with the Legion Go drivers. So you have to sideload AMD drivers. So if you're not comfortable with that, maybe you can take a look at my video and maybe you want to do it yourself later. Okay, so if you go to Device Manager, okay, and you check my display adapters, I'm using AMD Radeon 780M graphic drivers. This is the sideloaded AMD driver. And if you take a look at my AMD software, I'm using the latest version 24.0. 9.1 that's the latest as of recording this version officially supports amd fluid motion frames too and if you go to the gaming tab black myth wukong okay i'm going to be using it afmf2 enabled okay and also radeon anti-lag is enabled um, radeon image sharpening enabled 100 percent okay and here integer scaling i enabled it and also in the advanced, okay, I also changed the texture filtering quality to performance. And then surface format optimization enabled. Okay, so these are my settings. Uh, after you've done your settings on AMD software, you don't have to launch the game here. You could, but you don't have to. So if you're interested in installing this, I have a video, I'll, I'll like link it up here so you can check this video out if you want to sideload uh, AMD software to enable AFMF2. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to launch the game in Steam. So a lot of people say there's issues with the AMD drivers when you load it onto the Legion Go. I've not really had that much issues, yet sometimes I've had like crashes um, that, but it's not like really significant, like it's not all the time, it's like probably uh, I don't know, I think I've had it like a couple of times. Uh, and then before I installed these drivers, I, like it was really long ago when I first got my Legion Go uh, in January of 2024, I did sideload the drivers and then uh, the FPS counter wasn't working, but I think they fixed that now. And then um, like sometime I had an issue where I couldn't even load the Legion Go, um, the space app. And then I uninstalled the drivers and it still wouldn't work. So I had to format my like, re like re factory reset the whole machine for it to work. I'm not sure if that's related to the AMD drivers because uh, it was working fine. And then I updated the Legion Go BIOS and updated the uh, Space app and then it, it just didn't work. And I tried removing everything and it didn't work. So I'm not really sure if it's related to the AMD drivers actually. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's go to my settings. Okay, so I'm actually using my camera to record the screen of my Legion Go because uh, AFMF, if you connect it to a, through a capture card and a, a different monitor, you know, the resolution's all changed and, and it kind of messes it up. So this is like, like the graphics don't look good now like because I'm going through my camera, but in fact, it does look good on your Legion Go screen. So let's go to graphics. Super resolution 50 and then super resolution sampling. I'm using XEXS, so the Intel uh, upscaler and then ray tracing off and graphic preset basically low, everything on low except for texture quality. Okay. If you haven't purchased Black Myth Wukong yet, I suggest you saving some money and buying it from this website, instantgaming.com. They're the sponsor of today's video. Currently, they're selling the game at 22% discount. So it's only $50. Uh, for the standard edition and the digital deluxe edition is $60 which I don't really recommend because like the items that you get for the digital deluxe edition is not really worth the extra $10 but if you want to support instant gaming or you want to spot the developers of the game you know, feel free to get the digital deluxe edition me personally I only got the standard edition and I think that's the best deal and currently it's at 22% discount so $50 is a really good deal for this game Okay, and Instant Gaming, if you're not familiar with them, I'm their official partner and they like sell games at cheap prices and they can do this because they get their keys directly from the game developers, cutting out any middleman and they like buy in bulk so they like negotiate deep discounts. So yeah, thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. 
And yeah, I've been playing most of my game uh, using these settings. Okay, and yeah, it's pretty stable. You're getting like 60, 70 frames uh, and the graphics looks good. It's stable. So share in your uh, in the comment section your settings if you have better settings because I've tried using just native FSR and the graphics don't really look good and it stutters a bit. So yeah, I'm in chapter three, new game plus, and you can see like I think the snow area is the most like hard to run. Um, so like I said, it might not look good in the in the. YouTube screen, but on the Legion Go screen, it does look good. So 60, 70 frames. And you can see I'm using high textures, so you can see the snow, snow and everything looks good. So I'm only in New Game Plus 1, so the, the first New Game Plus 1. Okay, if you take a look at my relics. Okay, so I've got two relics here. I've beat chapter two, two relics here. And chapter three, I haven't beaten it yet. So yeah. I tried using the RSR uh, because this game doesn't have full screen, it's only borderless. Uh, I was kind of having a hard time getting that to work. So that's why I'm using um, image sharpening instead of RSR. Normally I would use RSR. I don't know what, which is better, but uh, yeah, either one of them is fine, I think. Yeah, so it's very stable, like playing like this on the Legion Go. I play like long sessions. This game, I play long sessions and yeah, that's what I really want. Because when I'm using just the uh, native FSR, I, I find that it's, it's not really stable. And, um, you know, it, it stutters. I have, um, I have stutters and I don't think it looks too good. FSR doesn't look good, the upscaling. So that's why I find... I like playing it like this. Okay, so I think you've seen enough. I'll, I'll leave it here. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to test out other games on my Legion Go using AFMF2 and maybe RSR2 as well. Uh, not not RSR2, Radeon Super Resolution as well. That's an upscaling. Uh, yeah, I think AMD is doing really well because some of the older titles that don't have built-in frame generation, this is a really good, and I prefer this over lossless scaling. Lossless scaling has a lot of uh, artifacting, ghosting. I don't really like that. So this is pretty good. Let me know in the comments. We can have a little chat there and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.